So what do you want? I want the money that I gave him for the $1,100 for the truck, and I want the money for the dirt bike to replace the dirt bike for my kid. Well, so that means that you used his truck for seven months. You used it. You put mileage on it. You did whatever you had to do. You used his truck for nothing? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying to understand, madam. You purchased something. You didn't finish paying for it. You used it for seven, eight months. And now you want the money back that you gave him, which was less than half of the amount of the truck. Mr. Beard. Yes, ma'am. Let's hear it, sir. Um, well, and first who off, this who is this person? Uh, this is my girlfriend, Danielle. Okay, because she's been dying to tell me something. I'm going to let her talk in a minute. Okay. Go ahead. Even here, she was living Go with ahead. a guy in Reno. Okay. Um, well, first off, her just her a second. Are way off. Do not. Interrupt. Give Why did you go and take the truck back, okay. sir? At that point in time, I'd found out that Rob was driving the truck, um, who unfortunately had three DUIs and should not have That's been driving. That's him. Yes, ma'am. Put your hand down. In which I do have a police report for. And on top of that, I hadn't received money. I had been trying to call her and get the money. Mm -hmm. times that she actually did call me back, um, it was she just didn't have it. She wasn't working. She was working a different job. Rob was trying to work to get the money, but he had to pay off for classes for his DUIs and just was not able to get the money. Just a minute. Tell me about the dirt bike. Uh, the dirt bike was actually given to me, and I was supposed to repair it, like she had said. By the time the truck transaction was starting to go south, I had informed her I'd feel more comfortable if it stayed at my house until it was sold as collateral, and she did agree upon Where's that. Where's the dirt bike? The dirt bike I sold after that, too. Well, that was a mistake. Yes, Mike, I understand your frustration, but you shouldn't have sold her bike. She doesn't get her $1,100 back. She gets $550, which is the trade-in value of the bike. And that's what you got for it. Okay. Yes, right? Good. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of five fifty. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, excuse you may oh, step out. Excuse me. You were dying to say something. Is there anything that you were dying to say? No, he covered it. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs>